Welcome, welcome. We have the M30 turbo manifold mocked up in here. I don't have the gaskets on, so I left just a little bit of space that would simulate how much of a gasket we would have. And the whole set HE351 is fitting in here really nicely. Um, I just wanted to go over something that I found was super important on this that made all the difference in the world as far as spacing goes right here. And that was, I had a collapsed motor mount. So this old engine mount was torn and collapsed and I put in an Ireland engineering uh, polyurethane motor mount, which I emailed them to see what they're gonna do, but the stud is too short. Um, you can see down there, it actually um, doesn't make it all the way through. But as far as like having a motor mount that isn't destroyed and collapsed, if we were just using this as our reference for height, um, we gained about 20 millimeters. So like three quarters of an inch in the motor's angle toward this fender. So previously on my old handmade turbo kit, I had kind of tapped this in with a hammer as you can see, and it doesn't look pretty. It's because I didn't have the angles with the old exhaust to make it work. But with this new one, this new kangaroos manifold, it was still really close right here. It was almost touching. And I quickly realized that the motor mount was collapsed. I looked down at it, it was cracking and it was stuck. So with the new motor mount that just gives us the right position, we have all the space in the world. Like this is probably a uh, couple inches and over here there's at least an inch. Even if you didn't have this smashed in like I do, you'd be well and truly clear. Um, over here in the front, everything's looking good. Even with the the whole set twisted over where it's sticking out the most, there's still some space. Um, this ignition coil, as you can see, would be touching here, but that's not really a problem. I can move that around. This was just how I had originally set it up when the turbo wasn't in this position. So it's not really the manifold's fault that that's there. I mean, I wasn't there from the factory either. If you had a stock um, ignition set up here, it would pretty much just be fine. So anyway, uh, everything else, I mean, you can see the ignition coil wire here is looking just fine um, down there if I moved this over just a little bit. But basically compared to my old setup, uh, all I'm gonna have to do is clock the turbo kind of in this direction somewhere and then change my silicone couplings so that they go up into the intercooler. But yeah, um, check your motor mounts. My other side was loose. Uh, didn't even realize until I started lifting up the engine and that side was picking up like an eighth of an inch. And then this side, uh, after I put in the polyurethane motor mount, gained me about three quarters of an inch or 20 millimeters. I just put this metal ruler up against the engine and I just watched it as I changed motor mounts, how many millimeters it, it moved. And uh, that gave me a pretty good reference. So anyway, so far so good. Everything's looking nice as far as space. Um, for my particular application, I really won't have to change much. The oil line still fits. The oil feed will still fit just fine. And all I have to do is change that. And downpipe, I'm gonna make a new one anyway. I'm actually going to cut the wastegate uh, onto the turbine housing and put it right out here then recirculate it from the top uh, on the m20 car we're going to run it on the bottom of the kangaroos wastegate but or on the bottom where the kangaroos manifold has the wastegate uh, provision here i could i could turn it down and dump it to the ground but i really want to maintain the recirculation and I'm not really fond of having all the fittings under here going back where I have to like somehow get my hands or get under the car to undo the downpipe. I like to be able to have a V-band here, a V-band here for the wastegate and then the one down there and I could just pull it out. My previous revision of the of the downpipe for this worked really well and uh, that's what I want to continue doing. So. 
stay tuned. We're gonna cut this guy open and uh, we'll get back with you. So motor mounts are important guys and kangaroo's manifold fitting perfectly, slid right on. I just put a couple bolts on it just to hold it gently for the meantime. And uh, it looks like it's gonna work just fine with the Holsa HE351. You can see there is tons of space on the M30. If you have your AC unit off, you can put a wastegate kind of anywhere down here and dump it straight down on the kangaroo's manifold. So it's got a lot of good space.